Well, all hell broke loose in Belagavi yet again today. The police arrested hundreds of activists for staging a protest and threatening to march to Yellur. The KRB remains adamant on hoisting the Karnataka flag in Yellur. <laughs> Well, in fact, as you can see, these particular activists managed to make their way through into Belagavi district uh, despite the fact that heavy police uh, forces uh, were put up outside to ensure these activists did not make their way. And it is understood that they uh, came in through other villages uh, and finally uh, police uh, were prepared for them. So immediately they were all taken into custody. And uh, of course, uh, it is understood that the police uh, are ensuring they're fully prepared for any more activists who do turn up. And meanwhile, also, of course, uh, we're looking at extensive security measures being put up by the police. Uh, what they were initially doing from late last night, in fact, uh, is that they've been checking every single vehicle that comes near uh, these particular toll gates, be it near Belagavi or Hubli. All these toll gates were being checked, uh, and this is how they managed to arrest uh, over hundreds of KRV activists. But upon realizing that uh, the police were checking all these toll gates, uh, several of them started coming in through villages. However, uh, the likes of of uh, KRV President Narayan Gauda was also detained uh, along the Pune Bengaluru Highway when he approached Hubli. And uh, of course, uh, several others have already been taken into custody. The checks are continuing as of now, but uh, it looks like activists are making their way in somehow or the other. Fortunately, they haven't managed to touch Yellur village as of yet. Uh, the police are ensuring that before they reach there, they are taken into custody. Well, uh, the KRB activists are hitting back with a vengeance over the ruckus created by MES activists in Belagavi. Unable to make their way into Belagavi, KRB activists were seen hurling stones at a Maharashtra government bus in Hubli. The incident took place near Hubli's Palikopa Cross. And uh, KRB activists are seen targeting a Maharashtra government bus. There. In fact, the police too were present. It is understood that these activists were trying to make their way into Belagavi. The police restricted them, which is why they decided to go ahead and show their frustration by targeting a Maharashtra government bus. Uh, they were hurling stones at the bus and also seen damaging it completely. Fortunately, nobody was injured as such. We understand that the bus was parked on the side of the road and that's when the activists went ahead and uh, attacked it. As you can see, the police were seen trying to go ahead and control uh, this angry mob. But it wasn't easy, of course, considering that they were completely out of control. And by the time the police managed to go ahead and get some sort of control, they had already damaged that bus completely. <laughs> Well, uh, of course, uh, it is understood that KRV President uh, uh, Narayan Gauda has been arrested uh, from Hubli. It, he was picked up while marching with hundreds of supporters on the Pune Bengaluru Highway. And the cops uh, are arresting them at the toll gates. But it seems like the KRV has also found a way to counter this move by the police. Narayan Gauda, as I mentioned earlier, had said that uh, they are making their way through villages to reach Yellur and avoid being detected by the police. 
But of course, as you can see, the police have managed to track down Narayan Gowda. He was accompanied by a huge convoy of sorts and all of them uh, were taken into custody. Hundreds of them, in fact, were taken into custody. Narayan Gowda was seen trying to speak it out with the police as well. But uh, the cops refused to uh, let them be and immediately took them into custody, trying to ensure, of course, that there is peace in Yellow Village and no protests can, in fact, take place. Maharashtra Hekki Dana Samitia. Well, uh, besides that, another 25 activists have been arrested from Gaburu Bypass, which is located near Hubli. They have also seized three vehicles in which the KRV activists were heading to Belagavi. Over 50 KRV activists have been detained at Haveri. They were arrested while they were on the way to Yellur to take on MES activists. They were stopped near the Kalagiri toll gate in Haveri district's Rani bin Nur Taluk. The KRV shot slogans that, come what may, they will hoist the Karnataka flag in Yellur today. The police have been having a tough time trying to control all this chaos, but even yesterday, the police had restricted Shiv Sena Emily, the worker Rawat and his supporters from moving towards Yellur. They were earlier stopped from holding a press conference as well. And well, Pramoda Devi, uh, the widow of Mysore royal family, signed Shri Kantadatta Narasimha Raja Bodiyar, was seen in tears. She could hardly hold back her tears as she remembered her late husband. She asked, how was it possible to hold the Mysore Dasara without the royal king? She said she did not know how to celebrate Dasara without the heir apparent. According to the directions of Pramoda Devi Bodiyar, the tradition of Dasara will continue. ಅದ್ರಲ್ಲಿ <laughs> ಅದೇನೆ <laughs> ನಾಡ ಹಬ್ಬ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಎಲ್ಲಾರ ಮನೆ ಮನೆಯಲ್ಲೂ ಮಾಡೋದು ಗೊಂಬೆ ಇಟ್ಕೊಂಡು ಪೂಜೆ ಮಾಡೋದು ಕೂಡ ಇಲ್ಲಿಗೆ ರಿಲೇಟ್ ಆಗೋ ಅಂತದ್ದೇ ಪೂಜೆ ವಿನ ಗವರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಅವ್ರು ಮಾಡೋ ದಸರಾ ದಸರಾ ಪ್ರಯುಕ್ತ ಕಲ್ಚರಲ್ ಶೋ ಅಂತ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ದಸರಾ ಅಂತ ಮಾಡೋ clearly a very emotional moment uh, for Pramoda Devi there who's gone on to state that uh, the Dasara for the government is a cultural affair while for the royal family it's a lot more it's a religious affair